You are the chosen lamp of the church of the hound. A sacrifice to summon an ancient god to cleanse this earth of its sins. It's an honor. You want this. You want this very badly. Everyone wants this for you. The church, its people, its god. So the choice is obvious. You are the lamp. Prepare yourself for slaughter. Hello and welcome, Lynx here, and we are playing a game from someone we already have uh, met before uh, by playing Berry the Hatchet in the past. Mocha Deaths. That's the name we can see on each that you. As per usual, by the way, the game is in the description. And this seems super interesting, to be quite honest. By the way, the music is so like. I don't know, it gives me so much the vibes of Diezire. And you bet I love Diezire, by the way. That visual novel. We played it. Anywho, today pray at the altar. Let's begin! It is time. Your flesh shall feed the starful hound. Your wounds shall be doors to bring her here. Your blood shall trace the road to our world. Today, your life comes to an end. Congratulations. Now this music is something I've heard multiple times in RPGs. I wonder if it's something that is... Uh, is it done in RPG Maker? It might be done in RPG Maker. If it's something that's basically kind of coming with the pack with software but well questions like that may be aside game game let's continue it is truly an honor shall we go then not too fast no i know we're eager but there are steps to this you know here i place your checklist on the table the other two things doesn't matter but make sure you do them all. Just talk to me when you're ready. Where am I? Oh, I'm right here. All right. You're so lucky. You're the first one to get saved. I mean, strictly speaking, the first Agnew was the first one to get salvation. Oh, Shash, you know what I mean. You're going to save the world. Meanwhile, all I can do is watch. It's a vital role. I can hardly wield the knife myself, can I? True! Alright, don't let me stop you any longer. Shoo, shoo! Go get prepared! Amal says hi. She was very sad she wasn't allowed to go with you for the ritual. Oh, that's so cute. Tell her hi back after this. It's a shame that she isn't here, but I'm glad you are at least. The qualifications to participation in the ritual sound needlessly complicated. Oh, please. Like, you have to worry about that. Probably miss. Miss chosen by the hound herself. She devoured your gender whore. What? It's not surprised you inherited the Agnew title. She devoured your gender whore. I think I don't, don't understand this sentence. Speak off. You really ought to get prepared. See you before we go to the altar. Right, I was supposed to... Are you ready? <laughs> Should we do and get a bad ending? Take your time. I'll be waiting. Alright, so there is a list over here. Whoa. Uh, can I hide the... Cleanse your body. You must treat yourself with an impurity if you are to offer it yourself the starful hound. Wear ropes. You must treat yourself of any individuality if you are to host a god within your body. Remove your shoes. Yeah. To recount Louis the ground is essential to join the hunt. Let your hair down. To bind your head is to bind your soul. Bask in lavender incense. The smell shall signal to the hound that we are ready to welcome her. Let me grab a quick 
cut out of all of those, by the way. Just in case we need that, because I might not remember all of the steps and so on. Which I will obviously not remember. Oh. Alright, um... You gaze into the mirror. You always keep your hair down on principle. Oh, it's your last name is worth for. Could be worth doing something different for once. But we are supposed to have my hair down, right? Braid your hair. You... I'm gonna keep the hair down. Nah, you'll just die as just you lift. Yes, yourself. Alright, so let your hair down. That is clean. Or more like... Out of the list. I've been to store dirty laundry. Some of the kids like to hide in there to prank you. Okay. Here. You look through the window. It's cloudy. That's a shame. This is probably the last time you will ever see the sun. Soon all you will know are the night and the stars. You change your clothes into your robes. Comfy. Okay, the robes covered. The jewelry kind of goes against the spirit of it for. You... Should we take it off then? Let's take off the bracelet, yeah. You take off the bracelet and store it in your pocket. You should hand it to Gilles or Roland. They'll make better use of it than you now. Alright, uh, Gilles. Gilles. Here, I want you to have this. Is that your bracelet? I won't need it once I join the Hans Hunt. Hold on to it until salvation comes, will ya? Of course! I'll cherish it until we meet again! Thank you. So I guess that was a, in a way, correct choice. A pew. You like to take naps on this. They're so uncomfortable, you physically cannot oversleep. Oh. That's kind of making a lot of sense. A rag depicting a hound herding a sheep. You can't step on it. It's holy. Hmm. In a way, that's kind of the thing you... Uh, a weird, maybe, thing to say, but... Uh, that's something that you see a lot of people, or more like football players, not doing... Uh, especially, I think, in Spanish League. They will not step onto the... Uh, logo of the club that is on the ground yeah that's very nice the traditional tire of the church of the hound you are all sheep in hound clothes you are all innocent creatures to be guided but one day too you will join her in the hunt one day this coat will no longer be just cloth it will be part of your skin that's the symbol is behind the color scheme at least is this the same text here traditional tire Three pronged candles. There is no significance to them, they just smell nice. Kind of dubbed that, but. The Book of the Hound. It's opened on the section of the tale of the first Agnu, and how they were the first to directly speak to the Hound. No need to run, says the Hound in the story, for hunting by your side would please me greatly. You already know the tale. You leave the book alone. I actually don't. That's the thing. What's here? You take your shoes off and store them away. Okay. Uh, taking off the shoes. Off the list as well. I guess... Literally this part of the game has been provide provided to people with food fetish. I feel bad that you were given that fetish by the way guys and not guys. Oof. That must be a terrible life. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't remember. Keep the socks on for now. The bell pattern fills you with unspeakable joy, as it always does. I don't remember. Oh, 
I might have made a mistake. I I I, I can look right again. Cleanse your body, you must rid yourself on impurity. Wear ropes, you must rid yourself in duality. Remove your shoes, to can't do the ground is essential to join the hunt. So it seems like I need to take off the Are you freaking dumb? The ritual doesn't require to take off your sh take your shoes off. It requires to be in the direct contact with the ground. You know that's the implied part. Just lay down and do what is expected of you. Wait, I cannot take them off now. Oh come on! Uh, let me take off the stuff right now, game. Why can I not do that? Great, so I have a mistake already, because... God damn it. Damn it! <sighs> Looks like someone tried to hide their stock here. Oh, recognize the brand. They're a Shepherd Apes high favorites. You... Mm. Sure, whatever. They taste bad. Ugh, man. He's a shepherd. Can't buy any better stuff. Rough, scratchy towels. Feels like petting a wild beast. A broom. Ha. Huh. The last time Gilles, Gilles used one, she broke the handle and instantly drove it inside her fire. How? Wait, what? Also, that must have been painful. She's not allowed to use one anymore. Fair enough. You start down at the rose of incense. There is a lot of variety here. Lemon, orange, lavender. You... Uh, use lavender, right? You let the lavender incense and bask in it for a while. You breathe in, breathe out, <sighs> and empty your mind. Oh, both of you to assume my mind is not already empty. It's me we are talking about, so... Yep, it's pretty empty. There is a reason why I'm dumb. This is what you were born to do. Boxes of incense. Shepard Abbey likes to use the empty ones to craft cardboard dice. Oh. He's working on a 30 phase one right now. Interesting. Boxes of incense again. Okay. Uh, Alright. I guess it's time for uh, a little buff scene. I start to suspect maybe the death has a food fetish. You sit down to clean yourself. You start by the tip of your toes, then rub the sole of your foot, and then... Yeah, I think I'm correct with that. Death. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> you were born with foot fetish, that's a problem. That only you have to deal with, luckily enough. <laughs> oh! One of the kids drew on your uncle... Yesterday. Must have happened while you were taking a nap. A clumsy rocket shooting for the stars. You bet Sarah drew it. That's all she ever draws these days. Uh, we have to clean it, right? I believe you scrap your skin clean. Bidding adieu to Sarah's little creation. And I would say we are basically done with every steps. Except for one kind of. I'm kind of... I'm kinda bothered by this for the fact that I can't continue this. Hmm. Just lay down and do what is expected of you. Okay, let's lay down. No. A bin. A rack. What is it doing? That's not. You should focus on the ritual. Yeah. 
Fine, let's do it. I mean, I can't sadly do that correction, apparently. Then let us go! The knife gleams in the shepherd's hand. You refuse to look away. Uh oh. The blade kisses your skin like a lava. It teases the surface, takes the puff alongside your sternum, and then. sinks! You can't repress a gasp. Your skin, your flesh, your organs, all part to welcome your suitor. Suitor? That just, that's a strange thing to call that. Your body opens up, your soul opens up. You are a house, and you are finally welcoming your owner home. The shepherd says something. You cannot hear him. You cannot pay any attention to him at all. Something trickles inside of you, like water, like light. There is a star between your entrails. It's so blindingly beautiful, you can't see anything else. You see your heartbeat, pulsing right next to that star. You want deeper inside of you. You want it to feel you inside and out. This will kill you. Stop! I don't want this. I never asked for this. Stop it! Ink spills on the sides of your stomach. Clothes are raking deep trenches in your flesh. She doesn't want to answer your call. She doesn't want to warn you off her. That star is struggling against your pool, desperate to get out. Stop it! Stop it! I want you to leave! I always wanted you to leave! Why are you doing this? Why in my name? Why? 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 You raise your hand. Hook your fingers in the food of smoke and tuck. There is... A wave. And you... Are... Full. Oh, starful hound, I bow to you! White sheep end. The question is, did I mess up with that one choice? Or did it n not necessarily lead to anything bad? I wonder. Alright, so what I do believe is maybe that was one of the endings. That you have to mess up one to four things. Basically, or may have a mix, basically. A mix of answers. Something you do correctly, something you do incorrectly. Let's see. Let's see, if I do everything supposedly correctly, what's gonna happen? Uh, we've seen that, so we'll skip, obviously. I will go through all the dialogues, like this. We've seen the dialogues. I just want to see what's gonna happen if you do stuff differently. So maybe let's... Let, let's do everything according to plan. Let's do everything according to plan. So over here we are gonna do lavender. Lavender incense. Uh, over here we will clean the drawing on our skin. Uh, we will this time take off the socks on. You also take the socks off and show them in your shoes. Shoes. They say the physical form doesn't carry over in the hunt. Maybe the hunt will give you some sturdy hooves to walk the new earth. Maybe. Traditional attire. Next we have... Change your clothes into the ropes, comfy. Jerry kind of goes against the spirit of it for. Uh, we take off the bracelet. And into the pocket. Gilles or Roland. We also dirty, store the den dirty laundry, okay. Uh, the mirror, we will keep the hair down, of course. And... Okay, seems like every task has been cleared out. Now, supposedly correctly, according to the ritual. Let's go. Are you ready? Wait, don't do it. No, 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 run. Run. Take your time, I'll be waiting. Can I can I actually run away? Uh, 
There doesn't seem to be any sort of exit, so the answer must be no. <laughs> no, 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 no! Then let us go! The knife gleams in the shepherd's hand. You refuse to look away. The blade kisses your skin like Keldova. It eases the surface, trace the path alongside your sternum, and then... Sinks! You can't repress a gasp. Your skin, your flesh, your organs all part to welcome your suitor. Your body opens up, your soul opens up, you are a house and you are finally welcoming your own home. The shepherd says something, you cannot hear him, you cannot pay any attention to him at all. Something trickles inside of you, like water, like wave, uh, like wave, like light. There is a star between your entrails, it's so blindingly beautiful, you can't see anything else. You can see your heartbeat pulsing right next to the star. You want it deeper inside of you, you want it to feel you inside and out. This will kill you! Stop, stop, I don't want to deserve a for this! Stop it! Ink spills on the sides of your stomach. Clothes are raking deep trenches into your flesh. She doesn't want to answer your call. She doesn't want to offer you offer. That star is struggling against your pull. Desperate to get out. Stop it, stop it! I want you to leave us, I always want you to leave! Why are you doing this? Why my name? Why, why? You raise a hand. Hook your fingers in that food of smoke and duck. There is a wave. And you are full. Oh, starful count! I bow to you! Seems like a different ending. Ooh. Oh, I miss your eyes, beloved. True white sheep end. What was the first end called? So, if I understand correctly, basically the sheep became the wolf. So, literally, the prey became the hunter. <laughs> Interesting. And let me quickly see. Previously, the ending was called Just White Sheep. Okay. Okay, got it. Um, Let's get to the last, I believe, third ending. Alright, talk to everyone. What if I just went and said, yes, I'm ready? I just thought of another way to get an ending, I guess. Um, eat some. Okay. We are going to light up at the different incense. And we are going to go lemon. You light up the lemon incense and bask in it for a while. Mm. You breathe in, breathe out, whoo, and empty your mind. It's a bit boring, but you gotta wait a bit else. The smell won't stick. First supposed mistake. Ah, uh, I will leave it, yeah. You leave the drawing untouched, not like it can be seen under your ropes anyway. Oh, third, uh, second mistake, no way. The mirror. You know what, let's braid your hair. Why not? For once I should do it. It's clumsy and you have nothing to tie the end, but it keeps your hair out of your eyes, so you'd say that's good enough. The third Agnu would make fun of you if I could see you. And here, oh, shoes. But do I keep the socks on? Yes, I do. That's something we've done on our first approach, basically. And here, the ropes. Oh, you know what? I think I will keep the bracelet this time around. Not like it shows under your sleeves anyways, right? Huh. I think we are ready. Yep. Seems like we are ready. Are you ready? Then let us go. A knife gleams in the shepherd's hand. You stretch it with defiance. <laughs> it doesn't hurt for. 
That's a pretty gentle for a start. You're not as close to him as Sam, but he's family too. Like Gilles, like Roland, like Sarah, like Amal. But when the blade sinks into the stomach, you can't repress a gasp. It doesn't get at all. It's an empress. It's a kiss. Some flows is out of you, around you, like water, like light. It curls around your liver like a tongue, teasing your insides until you're left, panting and shivering. <laughs> you look up to the night sky, to its thousand stars, they blink down at you with indescribable kindness. Light beams all around you, holds you, a star shirt slithers through your open wood, nesting between your lungs. You are embraced. You are loved. Fangs graze your neck, a familiar gesture that echoes with long forgotten memories. She has devoured part of you once, you know. Your gender hurt too much back then, and you couldn't understand why, but she came in and took it away from you. I still don't understand what that's supposed to mean. You didn't even know her name back then. You knew nothing of her church. She did it because she loved you. And she loves you still. Close settle on your sides in the most gentle of the touch, and... She rakes them up, molding your flesh like clay to close up your wound. Ooh. It's a miracle! The hound saved your life? I know, right? I guess it wasn't time for her to descend upon our world yet. Wow! You really are God's favorite little lamp, huh? That's great for. The kids will be like to see you back. Only the kids? Oh, don't be like that! We're old enough to know it's you again at the hunt. If I would all be missing you in the meantime, terribly even. Who'll play tart with me while you're gone? Sarah would, as always. Sarah is mine and thinks the hug then is an instant win. They say mine. Nine. F face it, you're the only one in this church who can give me a challenge. <sighs> Are you right? You got pale all of a sudden. Sorry, I got a bit dizzy. I guess resurrection is more taxing than it sounds. Give me a minute, I'll wash my face and I'll feel better. Ah. Uh, oh, interesting. So, like, it's not like there is, you know, no wolf around. Are you, uh, are you, um, there? Don't do that. I can't hear myself think. You cannot. Humans are more fragile than I thought. Humans are... Yeah, humans are more fragile than I thought. Oh, it was the... Oh. So she she's being possessed. How are you doing that with your voice? Those weren't words. They were like colors. Is it painful? <laughs> No, it's just like standing on the edge of the cliff. Listening to you is giving me vertigo. Ooh. Hound, why are you here? Not that I'm complaining, but why did you save me? I thought you were meant to take possession of my body and all. Oh, so it didn't. But it's still around. Interesting. You have no interest in me, correct? You only care for the people in the cult, not the cult itself. Yeah? What of it? If you wanted to punish me for it, you should have shot your shot back at the altar. I am the same. I care not for these beliefs. I only care for you. I'm the same. Oh! That's alright, I suppose. It's a big family. We can host a gather to in there too. So long, the same. On your side, I care not for the specifics, beloved. This one. The true black sheep end. Ooh. All right. That would suggest there might be a just black sheep ending. Oh. Got it. Okay. So, in a way, there are five endings in this game. I get it. 
I understand now. I understand now. I was thinking that there are only three endings in general, but no, I was absolutely mistaken about that. There are three endings. And two out of those three also will have like true endings. Gotcha. You know what? I need to find out. I said we will not be doing that, but I need to find out. I'm just too curious. I need to do it right now. I'm ready. Then let us go. Let's see. The knife gleams in the shepherd's hand. You can't look. You squeeze your eyelids shut and grind your, grind your teeth. Oh, freak! Can you still back out? You must, can't you? Ah, oh, you didn't do all the steps. You lied to the shepherd. You need to say it. You need to admit it and do it right this time. Run away, you still can. The knife sinks inside your guts and it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Blade, cold blade, sharp. Make it stop. Make it stop. Please. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Make it stop. Skin, muscle, sinew, bladder, intestines, kidneys. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. You want it to stop. You want to die. But that knife, that freaking knife, it's too gentle, too precise. Just end it already. You howl like an animal and you kick upward. Vaguely, you hear someone swear. Most importantly, for the blade slides out of your body. You roll off the altar and land on all fours. The pain is filling your head with white noise. You crawl. You don't know where you're going. You know what you want to do. The only thing you know is that things have to stop now. Suddenly, someone grabs your collar and tugs. You yell as you're pulled back, hitting the altar once more. The knife comes down no longer gentle. And the pain stops. Bad ends. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Bad end being the thingy. That's very fair enough, I would say. In a way, it makes sense that there would be sort of a bad end. All right, the other thing, or the other thing, let's mess up four steps. And let's not mess up one of them. Braid your hair. Uh, keep the bracelet. Take the socks off. Oh, I did not mess up this one. Alright, we need to mess up the other two steps then. The lemon incense. I'm too curious. I'm just too curious today. Clean it. Oh, I messed up. Okay, I messed up three. We'll see how it goes then. Let us go. The knife gleams in the shopper's hand. You start with defiance again. It doesn't hurt for. The shepherd is gentle for a start. You're not as close to him as some, but he's fine. Melee too, like Gilles, like Roland, like Sarah, like Amal. But when the blade sinks into your stomach, you can't repress a gasp. <gasps> it doesn't hurt at all. It's an embrace, it's a kiss. Something flows inside of you, around you, like water, like light. It goes around your liver like a tongue, teasing your insides until you're left panting and shivering. You look up to the night sky to its thousand stars. They blink down at you with indescribable kindness. Light beams all around you, holds you. A star shirt slithers through your open wound, nesting between your lungs. You're embraced. Like, in a way that, you know, someone embracing you, not embraced. You are loved. Fangs graze your neck, a familiar gesture that echoes with long forgotten memories. She has devoured a part of you once, you know. Your gender hurt so much back then, and you I still don't understand that. And you couldn't understand why. I don't understand what that means. But she came in and took it away from you. You didn't even know her name back then. You knew nothing of her church. She did, not, she did it because she loved you. And she loves you still. Close settled on your sides, in the most gentle of the touch, and... She rakes them up, molding your flesh like clay to close up your wound. 
It's a miracle. Black sheep end. Oh. Okay, so basically there is no... Yeah, I understand now. So the true ends basically show some additional scene. A little bit of a scene, yeah. And if it's not a true end, then... Nope. Nothing afterwards. Ah. Uh, but yeah, we've got basically all the endings. Technically all five of them. Unless there is some way to get another ending and that end is not included in those three supposed ends that the description of the game says about, yeah. Who knows? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Anyway, pray that the altar. Very fun game. Uh, as I mentioned, I think, link is in the description. Mm, you can play it yourself. You can also go and play other games from Mocha Devs. In the past we played Bury the Hatchet, which actually was not that long ago. Very... Very cool horror game. And from what I see there are two more games over there, so... Go and give it... Give them a spin yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, one of them is only playable in browser, by the way. And the other other one is something you can download. Yep, with that information, though, super fun game. Uh, hopefully, from Mocha Devs, more interesting games like this one, for example, will come out in the future. Alright, let's end it. Uh, if you enjoyed, consider liking the video, subscribe, and so on, all that good stuff. Hopefully, you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!